Who needs big waves when you could just hop on your surfboard and take off? The company Jet Surf is touring the country with its first ever fully electric board. Our Sean Stiles took the motorized surfboard for a test drive today in Mission Bay. I'm sure you've seen these powered surfboards. Well, Jet Surf is in town and we're taking it for a ride with our friends. This is my first time and it was super fun. That is Shona Brown and as you heard, first time for her, but she is a surfer. That was really fun. <laughs> Michelle Shoemaker, also first time, but also a surfer. I asked them to compare. It's kind of the same feeling as surfing. Um, but it's definitely different. You have the, the jet power behind you and it's like you're riding a huge wave on flat water. The exhilaration is like, yeah, I'm in control. <laughs> so that was really fun. After a short instruction, I was up and the ladies were right. It was relatively easy to the point that even if you didn't surf, you would have this down pretty quick. Here's what makes jet surf happen. Peter Savara. JetSurf is a motorized surfboard. It's made in Czech Republic. It's inside of the board. There's 90cc two-stroke engine. Gives you speed between, let's say, around 35 miles an hour, which is plenty being on the water. Which I found out. But you have to get back up on that horse. For me, the thrill was all there. Not like surfing, but more like riding a personal watercraft or maybe motocross. Cost-wise, jet surf won't break the bank, but it's not cheap. Starting price, it's let's say $10,000 and goes all the way up to $15,000 for the pro race model. And the all carbon fiber construction keeps the weight down to 40 pounds. So we can remove the fuel tank and check the board as a surfboard and fly all around the world. Jet Surf is in town through the weekend for the boat show. If you'd like to get on one, go to our website, cbsa.com, and click on the hot button. Back to you.